Howdy folks, Ben from Snowies today showing this Zempire Chill Pill V2 Airfield Pillow. Hit it. This is an airfield pillow with a durable TPU bladder, removable washable exterior, and a one way valve for easy inflation. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel, so make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. This is Empire's uh, little chill pill air filled pillow inside its little storage bag here. Quite a neat little storage bag with a little handle here that you can use it to carry or just to clip onto something so you don't lose it. Measures about 14 centimeters by about five centimeters and weighs about 161 grams in its bag like this. The bag's just got a little um, uh, button, uh, barrel lock on there to close it up. We'll pull this out and I'll show you the pillow inside. Inside the bag, a uh, pillow comes secured with a little elastic strap here. Now that's not attached to anything, so just keep that aside so you don't lose it. And we'll unfold the pillow here. Now I'll blow it up uh, first to show you, um, I'll describe all the materials once it's all blown up. So you've got a little one-way valve on the back here. To inflate it, that goes into a TPU bladder. You can see a little one-way valve inside there. Now it's always good to try and use a pump or something with a pillow like this. If you use your breath, you can get moisture inside the pillow and that can be hard to, uh, to get the moisture out. So I have got a little hand pump here. I'm just gonna, or it's, it's a double action pump. I'm just gonna put this in here. Now it's not a perfect fit, but it's gonna be enough for me to blow this pillow up. So I'll just hold that in there manually and do this so that I don't get any moisture inside. And because it's got a one way valve, I can keep pumping that up. I don't need to over inflate it, but pump it till it's probably firmer than you need because it's easier to let air out once you've pumped it up than it is to try and pump it up afterwards. So you can see that one way valves come into play there. That's reasonably firm there now. I'm gonna leave it at that. And that's the pillow all pumped up. So that was only a few pumps of that pump there. The valve stopping air coming out, but to really secure it, push this back inside of the little um, housing there so that it's really an airtight secure there now. Now inflated, the pillow measures 46, around about 46 centimeters by 28 centimeters and around about eight centimeters in thickness here. And it's got this quilted side. So this side here is sort of a, a quilted section. So there's a little bit of padding in there and it's a stretchy 30D nylon material on the outside here. Same material around the side here and on the back, but it's not quilted on the back and the sides is. So this is the side that you would rest your head on. Now inside the pillow is a TPU bladder, which we can access via the zipper on the end here. So this allows us to actually remove this cover if we like. This um, valve comes away from here. If we undo that little cap there, we can remove the inner from the outer and give it a wash. And inside here, you can see the clear TPU bladder. Now TPU is what Zempire and most companies use in their air poles for their tents, which are inflated to well above what this is inflated to here now. So it's a really reliable bladder inside the, the pillow here. You're gonna have to inflate that a long way before you have any risk of it uh, exploding through overinflation, and you're not gonna need it anywhere near that tight to sleep on anyway, because it's gonna be like putting your head on a rock. The only issue you've got is if you've got it somewhere where it might get punctured, um, but generally because you've got it in your bedding, you're not sleeping around sharp objects anyway. So there's really no issue there with the bladder um, becoming a, or getting a hole in the bladder. And if in the off chance that you do, you can repair it pretty easily. Now in terms of comfort of the mat here, it's, it's the same sort of height all the way along. So it doesn't really matter which way around you sleep on it, but this side against your head. Uh, and the stretchy nature of the material and the TPU bladder inside means your head kind of sinks into it. If I push this against my head, I can feel my ear and everything sinking into it. Feels quite comfortable. I know I'm not lying down here at the moment, but I would probably let a little bit of air out to allow my head to sink down a little bit more into this pillow here. So it feels quite comfortable, heaps of room. You can kind of tuck it in against, uh, up against your neck here and the air sort of displaces and gives me the support I need close in, so in next to the neck here. So uh, quite comfortable for uh, such a compact pillow. It does have that inflatable bladder inside. So in terms of, um, it's, I mean, it's not, not comparable to the pillow you've got at home or your um, synthetic filled pillow you've got at home, but it packs up to a portion of the size. And in terms of uh, the noise and comfort sleeping on it, pretty much in line with every any, um, any sort of air pillow. If I just give that a bit of a shake around, you can, you can just hear the fabric moving independently of the TPU bladder. But once you're lying still on that, this has got a really nice soft feel to the outer fabric on this one. That's Zempire's Chill Pill Pillow. A great option for people who are maybe a vehicle based, uh, sorry, sedan or have a small car for camping setup. Pillows get really bulky. Either you're gonna stuff them somewhere in the car that either takes, um, I guess in the way of what you can see out windows uh, or just really hard to find space for. Whereas these pack up tiny, 
You can put them in with your sleeping bag or roll them up inside your swag if you like. Really good option for compact car camping or even for hiking. That's the Zempire Chill Pill Pillow V2. Check them out online at snowies.com.au. Mm -hmm.